Am I going crazy? The answer is probably yes, but I've been looking for my running hat for 25 minutes and I cannot find it anywhere. If you didn't know, I'm training for the New York Marathon, which is... Hmm, what day is it? October 5th. It's exactly one month away. It's been a half an hour of me around this apartment just trying to get ready for this run, but I just can't find anything. And this is an old story. I just moved into this apartment and I can't find a thing because I don't have time to unpack, which is fine. We're making do. Oh, is it over here? Anyways, hi, welcome back to another few days of my life living in New York City. It's 7.30, I have six miles, and I'm not gonna run it outside without a hat. I just feel too exposed, you know? I'm going crazy. If you're new here, hi, my name's Chelsea. I'm a 30-something living alone in New York City who just likes to make fun videos showcasing the most realistic sides to my life here. This fanny pack has been through it, look at this. It took me a whole 50 minutes to get ready for this run, but we're doing it. I'm not gonna think too much about it. Oh, I have a lot to tell you too. There's some drama in the building. Yeah, I'll fill you in on that later. It would be pretty if I could keep the camera straight. Oh, oh. We did it. It's like a little past nine. I'm gonna take a shower and I'll see you in a little bit. I'm burping up the gels. Okay. I'll be honest, I don't have any time for self care these days, for doing things that make me feel confident and like the best version of myself. Permanent body hair removal is always something that I have wanted to try for many reasons, but never felt was that accessible until now. Thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Kenzie. For the last few weeks, I have been using my Kenzie IPL handset to help me remove my leg hair for good. And I'm already seeing some really promising results, like my hair growing in significantly thinner, slower, and softer. And that's pretty amazing since I have super blonde hair, which typically takes a lot longer to respond to IPL treatments. Kenzie's offering a great discount if you click the link below, but make sure to stick around to hear more like the surprising facts. The Kenzie IPL handset has far more benefits than just removing hair. It has different wavelength levels targeting various skin conditions that can help reduce acne, age spots, and rejuvenate your skin. And you may see results in as fast as two to three weeks with full results in 12. I can already tell that my Kenzie will be monumental and saving me time and money in the long run. Let's address the elephant in the room. Does it hurt? Not one bit. It's completely painless. No lie, I was nervous in the beginning, but you really don't feel a thing. I've always been pretty old school using razors my whole life, but even after 20 years of shaving, I still rarely get away without the accidental cut or ingrown hair. So my Kenzie is definitely my preferred method now, especially since I can do it from the comfort and privacy of my own bathroom. Real talk though, everyone's individual body hair preferences are unique and should be celebrated. Whether you like to remove it in some places or grow it out in others or love it all grown out or get rid of it all. It's your body, your choice, and however it makes you feel most confident. Not that you needed me to remind you. For me personally, in some areas, my hair can get in the way on my legs in particular. And for me, it would just be nice to not have to think about it anymore because I do love the feeling of smooth skin, especially especially when I crawl into my bed sheets at night. So if hair removal is something that you're considering on your own personal journey, the Kenzie is a wonderful place to start. As you can see, I am starting with my left leg only. Look how sleek she is. Both the Kenzie and my leg now. <laughs> Here's how it works. IPL stands for intense pulsed light, which converts light energy to heat to treat each area. It's non-radiating, convenient, safe, and efficient. With a broad spectrum on the device, you can treat a wide area faster, especially with my favorite feature, glide mode, where it automatically pulses the light for you, so you can just effortlessly slide the device over the area. Kenzie offers a 12-month warranty, a 90-day back guarantee, and payment plan options on their website. With the money-back guarantee, you can ensure the device works for you or you can simply return it. Go to my link below or to kenzie.com. That's K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com and use my code Chelsea and you'll get 20% off on the device. If you give it a try, make sure to let me know in the comments. Thank you to Kenzie for sponsoring my video today and for making it way easier for me to feel more like myself during this crazy period of my life. I did order pizza on Sunday. Today's Thursday. Is pizza still good in the fridge after four days? I've sort of been saving it. Like, oh, I'll have it tomorrow for lunch. I don't bring it. And now it's just sort of... <sighs> it's probably not good anymore. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about a squash macaroni. It's giving fall. <laughs> I don't know. This 
reminds me of those TV dinners I used to eat as a kid where they had that like microwave brownie also with like macaroni and cheese. Everything was separated like this still. The logo was a, a penguin. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Am I crazy? Kid cuisine. <laughs> Kid cuisine. Look at this. It tasted good, but it was so off-putting. The brownie would be like extremely hot. And like you get the smell of the brownie with mac and cheese. It's not something you'd want to like mix together. But. So my loud neighbors like, they can be very loud, but I, they've calmed down a little bit. Turns out <laughs> they're the sun and daughter-in-law of the super of this building. There's like this old lady who lives on the first floor. So they've probably been here for so long and there's no way they're they're ever getting kicked out for being too loud. Like if anyone's gonna go, it's gonna be me for complaining about them because they're family. So I'm glad I found that out before I made a complaint. I've never complained really about things being too loud. I just sit in silence and then get resentful. And then when I see them in the hallway, I don't say anything because I'm mad at them. I always end up hating my neighbors. <laughs> Anyways, let's watch some glow up. bed. See you tomorrow. I have 15 minutes to get ready. Actually probably less than that. I have like 10. <laughs> Friday. What's up y'all? Welcome to the voice inside my head. You want to know something? I am burnt out for real for real as the kids say but I have too many commitments right now to really do anything about it. So I'm ignoring it. I have been pushing for months now and as proud as I am for everything I'm accomplishing, I want my life back. I wanna see my friends. I wanna make friends. I want time and space to think. We don't have all that much going on today at work, I think. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna skip makeup all together because I can do my job without it. <laughs> what do I do? I wanna sleep. I want to read. I want to spend an afternoon binge watching Gilmore Girls. I want to feel like I'm moving forward with my life. When you are losing your mind due to stress, how do you stay sane when you have no time for yourself? Specifically, if there are any mothers out there who have advice, I would honestly like love to hear it. Please tell me in the comments. We have a roommate, guys. We have a roommate who's not paying rent. A roommate who doesn't understand personal space. At least he doesn't eat my chips, you know. Okay. I don't have much time at all. There's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel now, which I'm grasping onto for dear life. Some weeks are more uplifting and motivating than others, and this just happens to be a down week, so this is my vibe. I miss feeling like a human being. Time is it? Ooh, I don't know what the right move is. Wearing a coat? It's gonna be 70. It's still a little chilly, you know, but it's long sleeve turtleneck. I have a cardigan at work. Maybe I'll just use that for the day. I don't know. I'm gonna tell you in two seconds that I regret the coat. Gotta go. I'm not mad about the coat. It is a little too warm. I'm not mad about it. Fashion. Almost a year ago, I made a video about how I wanted to stop being ambitious and just be good with my job that is good enough and make a life for myself that is good enough because living the New York City grind is just too exhausting after so long. It seemed to resonate with a lot of you too. What's funny is that because that video did so well a year ago, it started to grow my channel and here I am now with an exciting, chaotic life again due to the hustle and the grind. <laughs> I mean, define exciting. Every morning I travel with the same subway commuters I've never spoken to but know where they live and work. I have the same drip coffee with the same Starbucks bagel to go. Every day just kind of repeats itself in a numbing way. Today is a bad example because my office randomly just had star fruits in the kitchen, which never happens. But what I was getting at was the difference now is that the hustle feels fulfilling actually and like something that I get to do instead of what I have to do in order to stay afloat to live in this city. In letting myself be directionless for a while, I seem to stumble upon just that, my direction. Right when I thought that ship had already sailed in my life. It's crazy what happens when you loosen your grip on life. That empty space can sometimes cultivate something amazing that just needed breathing room. I'm at the grocery store. Duh. We gotta find butter so I can make mac and cheese. 
We gotta do the carry gold. Should we get a ginger shot? Happy Friday. Today was busy at work. I had like no time. After I ate that bagel this morning and had lunch, it was just like straight back to work. I guess that's like what they're paying me to do, but sometimes I just... Like downtime is nice on a Friday. I'm tired, but I also got some stuff at the store. You wanna see? I got the milk you saw. I got my olipop. I got the butter you know. And I got that ginger shot. We should do this right now. This is the strongest ginger shot I've ever had. And I've had like now four or five of them. Cheers. Oh, I feel like I'm kind of used to it now. It's strong. Just burn my mouth. The strong stuff is at the bottom. I just know it's so good for me. It was only half of it. These are huge. Two ounces. It's a lot of ginger. It's a lot of heartburn. It's good though. I feel healthier already. Well, it's almost 11 o'clock. I just doom scrolled for the last three hours. It's not how I thought when I was gonna go. And it's oh, it scared me. If I'm not expecting a package, I'm not opening the door. That buzzer's so loud. Anyways. This whole week was really, really long. By the end of the week, which is today, I thought I had a lot more steam than I actually did. I'm hungry. So I think it's mac and cheese time, even though it's late, but this is like the beauty of being an adult, you know? You can do whatever you want. But I have good news for you though. The good news is I'm starting to feel a lot more at home here. On my way home from work, the last couple days, I'm salting my water. And I almost like just on autopilot went on the wrong, like the train to my old place. I didn't though, but I was just like, oh, caught myself. I was like, you know what that just feels like? in the past you know it literally is in the past but like i don't have an urge to go back to harlem or to like, be in that other space i'm starting to get used to how things are here and i think it's really helped that i've like watched some tv and sat on my tiny little couch done things that like make me feel like a normal person because everything else i'm doing doesn't make me feel normal i'm running so much and that shit doesn't feel normal to me but yeah it's nice i forgot to put the butter in the fridge this is the good stuff too. I just need to appreciate good butter when I actually have it. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, good. These noises are catching me off guard. Okay, what was that? I should water this. I miss doing this stuff. Making some mac and cheese, cracking some jokes. I feel like we're back. Crying Chelsea is over. New Chelsea embracing the future. She has arrived. This looks about right. <gasps> oh my God, I'm such. Scraping off that bottom layer. God. I'm gonna eat this mac and cheese in peace because no one needs to see that. I'm gonna finish this, go to bed, and see you in the morning. Good morning, Saturday. It's not actually morning. I slept all the way until 11 a.m. I really needed to sleep, I guess, but I'm having a very New York moment right now. Luckily, I got through my shower, went to brush my teeth, and my water is completely shut off. I texted my super, and I was like, hey, I have no water. And they're like, they were fixing it, it'll be on soon. But I'm like, don't you have to give notice for that? I guess if it's for like emergency repairs, they can't really give notice. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here and get a cup of coffee. I think that's a good idea. I 
have to learn to zoom out a little more often to see the bigger picture. Little inconveniences that go wrong today probably won't matter even a few days from now. And maybe these inconveniences end up protecting you down the line, but you just can't see it yet. But here I am getting ready for my YouTube live. Gotta do the hair a little and throw on a little bit of makeup. I can't remember the last time I blow dried my hair. I think it's when I was on vacation end of August. Anyways, it feels kind of good to take that extra step sometimes. Okay, I'm going live in. 11 minutes. I get so nervous because I, I started messing around with some of the, the settings. Even set this up as something people could join ahead of time. I got like a little thumbnail. It was cute. It's more advanced than I've ever done for live stream. But I'm, a little, I'm a little nervous. I have an agenda, but we have a lot we can talk about. If no one asks any questions, I have a lot of places to start. So I feel good about that, but I always get nervous because it's an unedited version of me. Sometimes I just get choked up in the moment and I say something stupid. I like always get nervous about that. Right now I have 49 people waiting which is crazy. I already have a couple comments, ah, but I'll see you later. No, I get so nervous for these things. I did like professional acting for like maybe six months to a year after I graduated. Okay, this is something else. If I can, what would you think if I did Vlogmas? Favorite pastime of being born was great. <laughs> for this. I actually have to pee. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm going to start with the biggest box. <laughs> you put lava lamp. <laughs> my sister got me this for my birthday. It's a great gift. Yay. Oh my god. I'm in my appliance era. I realized that just having a small dishwasher will make my quality of life better. So I've decided to like keep this guy folded up somewhere as like a backup if I have extra dishes. But for the day to day, a small dishwasher on the counter, it's the move. Look at this. Whoa, oh my goodness. This is like fits perfect. I don't even think this is an eyesore. I think this is actually pretty cute. I don't want to get my hopes up because this could go horribly wrong. This is so cute. It feels like an easy bake oven. Do you remember those? <laughs> this is such a cute little <laughs> dishwasher unboxing tubes. I'm basically a plumber now. I know what this is. I know what this does. Look, we know what this is. We've spent a lot of time figuring this out. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> now comes the rest of the stuff I got because this um, kitchen doesn't have an outlet on this side. The only set of outlets is right behind you. So I got things to string an extension cord. I know extension cords aren't like ideal for appliances, but I don't have another choice. Oh, I forgot I ordered slippers. <laughs> yeah. This is the rest of the stuff. Got detergent for the dishes. We got a power strip. I think this is the right one. So I'm hoping there's enough length. This should be enough, right? Cause I'm gonna string it along the window. And I got these as little things to hold the cork. I'm so smart. Getting to know the corks of my new apartment has been fun, sort of. Not a lot of the electrical parts of this apartment make sense. Like I don't have many electrical outlets. I panic room doesn't have a single outlet in there and where there are outlets they're super high up on the walls which doesn't make any sense this is meticulous stay stay i can tuck look at this i can tuck the cord in between the sink and the wall yes this i know what this is too this is the drain hose
this needs to go. Oh my god. Oh, sick. Cool. Okay. Okay. It's an hour later, and I just devoured a whole takeout container of plain rice, potatoes, carrots, and a piece of chicken. Can't finish it. I got like maybe halfway, and now I'm drinking a bunch of electrolytes. Not bad. Coconut. Well, I think we can like try and load it. It's so small. <laughs> So cute. Yes. <laughs> this is all it says. Sir, this is not IKEA. Let me just put in the detergent that I bought then. It's gonna beep when it's full of water. Do I press start? Okay. <laughs> Already worth every single penny. <laughs> it finished and everything's pretty wet. So I think just like leaving it the door open for a minute just to even, it's good to do that probably anyways to limit mold, you know? But wow, it looks like everything got cleaned. So nice. As soon as I get to cooking more, this is gonna be awesome. What an upgrade, crazy. And we just have many more upgrades to come. It's just the beginning. I think we're gonna end the vlog here. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Could be worth it. The engagement really helps YouTube recognize my channel and push my videos out to other awesome people like you. So I will see you in my next one. More awesome things to come. Thanks for being here. I love you. Bye!